Hello everyone, George Rambleman here. It's a beautiful day in the western North Carolina mountains. I'm at a scenic uh, pull-off from Highway 64, about 10 miles or so from Franklin, North Carolina. And if you've never ridden Highway 64 through North Carolina, it's a great road. Uh, it goes from the east end of the state to the west end, and I jumped on it in uh, Murphy, North Carolina this morning. I'm going to Franklin, then on into Hickory, North Carolina later today. But this road has it all. It's got uh, goes through the mountains. It goes past waterfalls. It's just a just a great road. And I pulled off here to take a little break and stretch my legs a little bit. As you can see, I have uh, added the uh, BMW Vario top case to my bike. I said I wasn't going to do that, and then I did it. <laughs> the little soft bag I had just wasn't quite big enough for these trips, and and uh, this. Uh, top case is really well made and you can key it to your bike and uh, it's adjustable in size I think it goes up to like 45 liters so it's uh, it's plenty big enough and uh, I like it I might get the Vario side cases eventually uh, to increase the storage capacity for longer trips but for this little three day trip I'm taking is uh, this is fine just a uh, Look at the beautiful Western North Carolina mountains. It's a perfect spring day. It's May the 1st. 72 degrees and sunny, not a cloud in the sky. And it's a, <laughs> it's a perfect day to be riding a motorcycle, especially with scenery like this. Right. Originally this trip was going to be five days for me. We were I was going to ride into Hickory tonight, meet NC Stoney and some friends tomorrow, and we were going to ride up to uh, West Virginia, but the weather report this weekend for West Virginia is not conducive to riding motorcycles, thunderstorms and rain. and So we revised this trip down to a short one. I'm riding into Hickory tonight. I'm going to stay there, meet Stoney and a couple of friends tomorrow morning and we're going to do a little day ride around Hickory and I think we're going to go down to Lake Lure ride around the mountains a little bit so you know it's not as what we'd hoped for but uh, it's, the weather today and tomorrow is supposed to be spectacular <laughs> and it is so far today that's for sure sunny not a cloud in the sky and the temperatures in the 80s There are a lot of great motorcycle roads in this country and Highway 64 through North Carolina, I consider to be one of them. It goes through the Nantahala National Forest and mountains and waterfalls. Very scenic road. Just closing in on a thousand miles on my bike here, the BMW F750 GS. I've already taken it in for the initial service, got the oil changed and everything checked out on it. Love it so far. I did have to replace the rear tire, which I didn't expect, but I got a nail in it. And I have to say, the uh, tire pressure uh, monitoring system on the bike worked perfectly. <laughs> I went out a couple of weeks ago to take a ride and I got about 100 feet from my house and the screen started flashing at me that I had low tire pressure in my rear tire. I had about 5, P 5 PSI in my rear tire. So I did a quick U-turn before I even left my neighborhood, went back and checked it and sure enough there was a nail right in the middle. I guess I could have patched it. These are tubeless tires but with all the trips I'm taking I didn't want to risk that so I got a new tire cost me about $400 on top of the initial service so what are you gonna do but as I mentioned I did get the Vario top case which I like it's adjustable in size and fits onto the bike with no additional rack that you have to buy like you would have to with a lot of aftermarket cases It's high quality and uh, high priced, <laughs> but I like it.
We're about 10 miles from Franklin, North Carolina on Highway 64. I'm headed east. According to my GPS, it says I'll be in Hickory in um, about two and a half hours. I'm going to stop and get a little lunch, so it'll be a little longer than that, but I couldn't ask for a better day to ride. This is perfect. So far, I've encountered very little traffic on my trip from home this morning up through Blue Ridge, Georgia, and through Murphy, and then on into Franklin here. That's the great thing about being retired. You can take these trips on a weekday, and today is a Wednesday, and avoid the weekend crush, <laughs> which is another perk of being retired. After we finish our ride tomorrow I've got two choices either I can head home or I'm thinking about riding up to Marion North Carolina which is near little Switzerland jump on the Blue Ridge Parkway and and ride it for about the last 130 miles to the southern end of the parkway in Cherokee and then head home but that'll be on Friday and showers are starting to move into the area on Friday so I just have to kind of check the weather tomorrow and see if I could do that and get home on Friday before the rain hits. If I can, I'll just stay overnight up in little, little Switzerland. Never been there. It's a popular stop on the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's right above Asheville, North Carolina. And again, I can jump right on the Blue Ridge Parkway and about 130 miles to Cherokee. So looking forward to doing that if the weather cooperates. All right, I'm passing uh, into Franklin. This is the turnoff coming up, the US Highway 23 that goes back to Atlanta. I'm going to stay on 64 East, eventually get on to Interstate 40 and then into Hickory. It's a beautiful day, couldn't ask for better weather. Everybody have a great week. So long everybody.